The other famous chimeric organism it makes me think of is, is Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> and, uh, is it a Franken plant? Uh, yes, yeah, so normally with a grafted plant, so, so you'd say take the roots of one plant, put on, on the sort of stem of another, and that's it. Uh, you can't sort of make another grafted plant from that. You need two more plants mm. to sort of put together to create another grafted plant. But there's this phenomenon that happens occasionally. So where the join between the two plants is, sometimes shoots arise from that. And just occasionally these shoots can be this bizarre mix of the original two mm. plants. So they will have the outer layer, the skin of one of the grafted plants and the inner layer of one of the others. Until now, these have just been seen as curiosities. Yes, they occasionally form from grafted plants that we've got and scientists have, have created a few of them deliberately for research purposes, but they've just been seen as curiosities. Now there's a company in the Netherlands that wants to produce them commercially and have them grown for food and it says it's developed this new method which makes it much easier to create graft chimeras. I think it's really amazing that they've done this with potatoes because I think anyone who's grown them knows they're really prone to disease, right? They're an everyday food. But you could see how giving the, like a really tasty potato the like more resistant skin of a different plant could be really beneficial potentially.